good evening, good day, whichever you may be watching this video. John Anderson Pierre of the Beer and TV Ramble looking at Lazy Magnolia Southern Hospitality IPA. 5.5%. Oops, sorry. 5.5% ABV. American IPA style. Shoot, I forgot my glass. All right, forgive me for drinking stuff in the same glass, folks, but I do. Shame my glass. But anyway. Uh, gets a 82 score on Beer Advocate. They've had this beer. Mm. Of course, an American IPA style, as I just said. As it says, a traditional IPA with Southern complexity. My, my, my. Um, Lazy Magnolia um, is based out of, forgive me for pronunciation, Kiln, Mississippi. Of course, the home of Brett Favre, the NFL Hall of Famer. Um, of course, uh, took the uh, Packers to uh, two Super Bowls and won one, lost the other. But still one of the one of the great quarterbacks in NFL history. Um, anyhow. Um, their signature beer, of course, is their Southern Pecan Brown Ale, which I've had before, which is really good. Um, never reviewed, or I haven't reviewed it, but stand by, may one day review it. So, foreshadowing, who cares. Anywho, um, one more beer that's left. Um, looking at the beer, of course, you can see the complexity of the beer. Look a little closer. I'm sorry, you're probably laughing. I got the iron in the background here, yeah. Ironing clothes, school. Anyhow, you gotta keep it real, right? This is what it is, so. There it is, complexity. Take a whiff of the beer. Very nice head, as you can see. You know, standard IPAs, uh, and, you know, I've been drinking a lot of IPAs lately, guys. A lot of them. And maybe, I don't know. Um, mm, Centrus. A lot of that, you know, scent, amenably, you know, pine, a very uh, aromatic sort of scent. Subtle. Subtle, 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 subtle scent. Nice head, of course. Very amber like, as you can see, you know. Most of we have a little more lighter color. This is very more of an orange, darker color than my IPA here. On to the taste. Point five ain't bad for this. Um, yeah, not bad, you know. But decent enough beer. Um, as I said before, a lot of IPAs, as we all know, are all the rage. The last 10 15 years, um, every brewery is making them. I mean, the, the style's been around forever Indian Pale Ale or Indian Pale Lager, whichever. A lot of hops, citrus, so it has a little bite and a little finish to it, you know. And uh, they both are pretty. You know, they, they, I mean, I, I mean, I like the style, but again, you know, I wouldn't say they're not everyday beers uh, for me. Um, I mean, I'll enjoy them from time to time, you know, 
but you can give me your regular lager, high gravity lager. I'll I'll consume majority of the time. So. You know, this is, I really get the scent of that pine. I mean, the taste of that pine immediately now. Um, good. Still got a nice head. I mean, 5.5, and most IPAs that I've had are either between uh, 6 or 7% ABV. So this is at 5.5, I guess, I'll round it off. Oh. Excuse me. To make it make it a six. So uh, it's not bad. You know, pretty decent, you know. Nothing really overpowering about it, nothing really too offensive. It's, I think it's a really good. Um, you know, we mentioned the pairings for IPAs, um, poultry. I'm sorry about that. I have a nine o'clock alarm. Go figure. Uh, I don't know. But anyhow, um, I think I know why I did that because of for work purposes, but you know, I need to go to bed early. I'm tired as f you know what, but anywho, um, what was I talking about? Yeah, food parents or IPAs, uh, poultry, you can go with, uh, a nice, uh, uh, a nice, you know, chef seafood, you know, very good, strong, sort of sharp cheese, you know, would go great, would, would go good with this beer. Um, I would say those were probably the things that I would, I would sample with this. Um, I wouldn't, you know, grilled, grilled chicken, poultry, you know, like I said, anything, roasted rotisserie chicken would be good or, Chicken salad, you know, real good with this beer. So, uh, uh, my rating on this beer, I'll give this thing a, I'll give this thing a B minus. I think eight and a half. I guess that'd be a fair score. Uh, no, eight and a half is a B plus. So I was giving an eight a B minus. B minus is that B plus. <clears throat> seven and a half is a C minus. Seven is a C. You know, just to see would be, yeah, eight. I'm gonna give this thing an eight. I think that's I think a pretty good score. I mean, it's a good IPA. I'm I'm, I'm not knocking it. You know, could be better, but it's it's nothing negative about it, folks. I think it's just really decent enough. Um, you know, can't go wrong with it at all. Uh, I think this is really, really a, a good, good solid beer to have, um, to enjoy sitting outside by the fire and reminiscing and you're listening to, uh, you know, I don't want to say, <laughs> listening to, uh, the band or, uh, um, Paul Simon, <laughs> fucking no. Anyhow, um, yeah, eight score for me on this beer. So tell me your thoughts in your comments if you have. And also the beer, uh, by the way, before I end it, uh, beer is available um, east of the Mississippi River. That's here in Alabama. Uh, Mississippi, of course, there's all headquarters in Mississippi. Uh, Georgia, Tennessee. In that part, and uh, if you go west of the Mississippi, of course, you know, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Texas, uh, and Arkansas, the beer is available. So, um, Lazy Magnolia is really trying to really 
which was uh, founded back in 2003, the brewery. So, and again, the Southern Brown Pecan is one of their best beers, and I really enjoy that beer a lot. So, again, leave your comments on the bottom if you've had this, the Southern Lazy Magnolia Southern Hospitality IPA. Leave your voice, your opinions on the bottom. John Anderson Pierre, the beer and TV Ramblin. We keep watching. And as always, cheers.